Good morning everyone and welcome to day two of iFloaters diet vlogs. So now I'm about to have a vitamin C with water. So this has 1000 milligrams of vitamin C in it and 15 milligrams of zinc. Now I have this in the morning on an empty stomach. That's because vitamin C is water soluble so it's better with water and it doesn't get all confused with food then about 20 minutes after I've had this I would eat my breakfast for breakfast I'm having blueberries and one sliced up apple now I know what some will say the apple isn't a keto diet fruit but I'm not too strict on that as long as I have the fruit meal on its own not mixing it with a protein not mixing it with a fat there is no glycation, so it is okay now and again to have a higher sugar fruit. And also, I'm going to be working out. I'm going to be doing push-ups, sit-ups, so that will all be going to natural sugars, you know, are needed for glucose. And also, obviously, we've got antioxidants here. We know blueberries really good. Bilberry is actually in a lot of supplements, and basically, blueberry and bilberry are the same thing. And they put it in all of the supplements because of the antioxidants and the polyphenols. And then you've got apples, which are really good for the liver and the liver is important for detox and cleansing and a lot of people say if your liver and kidneys are clogged up you have trouble with the eyes so there's a liver and eye connection this is what I am having for lunch sorry about all the steam but we go all over the lens right so we've got some broccoli a lot of broccoli we've got beef down here and then we've got some cheese but it is from a grass fed Cow. So obviously cows fed grass, you know, milk and how it's made cheese. Now the reason why I'm having a bit of cheese is for calcium and also vitamin K2. Now I don't eat too much dairy. I only eat dairy in very small amounts, but it is important to get vitamin K2 and the cheese is one of the good sources of it and also other fermented foods because vitamin K2 is very hard to get in other foods and also some of the supplements aren't bioavailable. So for dinner, I am cooking these lamb steaks and these beef rump steaks and butternut squash. Here it is served on the plate. Now I will take one of these and one of these after my dinner as that was a higher fat meal because of the meats, healthy fat and these two vitamins are fat soluble vitamins so obviously they absorb better in fat and then they are more bioavailable and then you get more from the vitamin than you would if you just had it on an empty stomach or with water. So let's talk about that meal now, absolutely powerful. So let's start off with the meat. We had beef and we had lamb. So we're going to be getting lots of zinc now a lot of people around the world, I think in 2018, 2 billion people were zinc deficient. That was in 2018, so I don't know what it is now, but a lot of people are subclinically zinc deficient. Not only is zinc important for the immune system, which we need right now because of coronavirus, but zinc is needed for the eye. High concentrations of zinc is found in the eye for the macula and the retina. Now it can reduce your risk of age-related macular degeneration. It can help your retina stay stronger and also fight off free radicals in conjunction with vitamin C. Now also, the meat that we just ate was high in selenium. Now this is a trace mineral and a lot of people don't get enough trace minerals because they think, oh it's just a trace mineral, oh it's not needed. But selenium is vital for your eye health and not only that it's involved in so many cofactors and enzymes and enzymatic processes in the body it's really shocking when you actually realize oh that vitamin wouldn't work as well if it wasn't for selenium oh vitamin e and this antioxidant wouldn't do their job as effectively if it wasn't for selenium now let's talk about the butternut squash butternut squash is loaded with carotenoids, loaded with lutein. So you're gonna be getting all that lutein and you're gonna be getting all of those carotenoids which are known to help the eye 
and reduce your risk of cataracts and age-related macular degeneration. And not only that is, your visual acuity and even your low light and night vision improves when you have these higher levels. And in studies where they take them away and people become deficient in them, you see all sorts of problems with the eye. And there's also a few studies that actually show people that have dry eyes usually are lower in carotenoids and zinc and especially vitamin A. They get a lot of eye dryness. So from the meat we would have got vitamin A and from the carotenoids, which when they go in the body, they will convert to vitamin A. So you're going to be getting the lutein, you're going to be getting the pre-formed vitamin A, which will convert in the body. And then from the meat, we would have actually got the full vitamin A. The butternut squash also contains really good amounts of vitamin E, which is important for the eye, and it is an antioxidant. Lots of magnesium, lots of potassium, important for blood pressure and blood flow, getting the nutrients to the eye, also keeping the eye pressure down, so reducing your risk of glaucoma. Now, another thing is that the butternut squash and also the butternut squash has high amounts of vitamin C and another trace mineral, manganese, which are manganese, which people don't get enough of. That's it from today's day of eating and day two of these vlogs. Now today has been a really good day of eye healthy foods. You can't go wrong. We've been low carb, we've been low sugar, and if we did have a bit of sugar in the fruit, it was natural sugars and we burnt it off during exercise. We've had no processed foods, we've had no junk, so we've obviously done the main things that I talk about in terms of prevention, getting rid of the sugars, the fizzy drinks, all that processed rubbish. Get that out of the diet, that's a start. And then start implementing eye healthy foods. You can't go wrong. And let's be honest, a lot of these meals are easy, quick and simple they don't take that long to make and to be honest they taste really really good and this is what you'll see as we do more videos i don't know how you are but i love fish and i eat a lot of fish and i'll show that in more of the videos to come you know lots of mackerel salmon sardines and oysters and who doesn't love an egg like we can have omelets boiled eggs you know so much you can do with eggs and also meat i love steak i love beef and i love lamb and I need to do some videos, well I probably will, I haven't got any in at the moment, liver and kidneys, organ meats are really nice. Right, I'm rambling on, I need to get to bed, let me know your thoughts below on this video, is there anything else you would like to see, Do I, should I include more things? Now I've shown the supplements today, should I show what exercise I do, uh, maybe what water I drink, let me know. Anything you want to see, feel free to comment in it below. And I will include it in tomorrow's vlog or the day after, depending when I read the comment. Right, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for all of your support. And I shall see you tomorrow. I love you all. And let's keep on fighting and let's keep on united. This is just a start. You know, we've, we've got to do something for the eyes. There's not a one fix. There's not a one cure. But we will work on that and we will get that. But this is just something that we can do to treat, ease and, I believe, prevent. I believe one thing we have control over is eye flutters prevention. If we're doing all the right things, blue light blocking glasses, all that sort of stuff, you know, not damaging our eyes and not eating junk which is going to cause high blood sugar levels and other horrible things to the eyes. That's another video. You know what I'm like, I'm rambling on. Right, take care and I love you and I'll see you tomorrow.